Hi guys. It's so great to see you. I'm so glad that you're there. When my son Michael was two years old, one of his most favorite things to do was to go to the park and then walk to a coffee shop. I would push the stroller and he would of course lead the way ahead of me. And one time, uh, when we were going to the coffee shop, he turned the corner just before me and by the time I got there, I noticed a homeless man sitting on a bench. His clothes were very indescript, his hair, you couldn't tell what color anything was. His hands were rough, skin was cracked, he looked actually very old, but I'm, I'm sure that he wasn't. So my precious little man, my two-year-old, had jumped up into his lap, straddled him with his legs, grabbed his face with his hands, and put his nose right on his nose. Now, <laughs> this man was sound asleep when we got there. And at this point, I am completely mute, and I'm stunned into inaction. I couldn't move, I couldn't talk, I got nothing. Well, the man woke up and got a huge smile on his face. Now, neither of them had any teeth. And for the next five minutes, they had a conversation in a language that they both clearly understood, but none of the rest of us knew what they were saying. And they were both very expressive and very happy to see each other and to just be in each other's presence. Wow. You know, sometimes we think that we're separate. We have separate cultures, separate languages. We live in separate neighborhoods, go to different schools, uh, maybe live in different countries. And then there are times when we are more similar than we would have ever dreamed we are. That we are, in fact, one nation under God. Where a two-year-old can have a five-minute conversation with a man who lives on the street in a language that only the two of them know. When they can look into each other's eyes, look deep into each other's eyes, and both see love, where the Holy Spirit overwhelms. It's a powerful, Thing to introduce people into our worlds and to invite them in. It can be more powerful to reach someone where they are in their world. Let's pray. Dear God, help us to reach people where they are and not require anything of them. Father, we have many hurts and worries, and you know what they are. We lift them to you now. We thank you and praise you for showing us the way, for loving us unconditionally and showing us how to love others the way you do. We thank you, God, for your Holy Spirit that surprises us every day. Help us to be the people you have designed us to be. In your precious Son's name we pray. And all God's children say, Amen. See you later, guys.